Hello, lovely people. Um, I hope everyone's dealing well in lockdown. This is uh, this is me answering some of your questions, some of your great questions that you asked. Um, and I'll try and be as honest as possible. Uh, definitely, it's been it's been the biggest challenge, certainly in my career. Um, I think in terms of preparation, research is always key. Um, I was lucky enough to speak to speak to many people in the deaf community, um, some of which had been through similar traumas to, to the one that Ben's experienced, but also people that were born deaf, um, to kind of gauge the ways that they, they find it hard to interact with people and how other people, um, other people can make them feel in situations by the way that they act. Um, so, so there was a lot, there was a lot of that. I also looked a lot into, into head traumas in general and how that can impact your psych, um, to kind of gauge where Ben's head would be at post boat, boat crash. Um, so, so I guess the answer is it's all in the research. Um, it's all in uh, allowing yourself to talk to different people and, and, um, not being, uh, not being too linear, kind of searching outside the box. Oh, that's a great question. Um, several people I haven't I haven't had a one on one scene with. Um, I'd, um, I'd I'd love to do I'd love to do um, more with Kelly Bright with Linda. Um, I think um, Ben and Linda haven't had a lot together, but I, I, I'd love that. But uh, in terms of someone that I wish that I was working more with, in terms of what characters I think would would do really well together, is Ben and Shirley, uh, Linda Emery's part. I think. Um, I think they're they're definitely a duo that have a lot of history. You know, if we go back to that, the kind of the Heather ordeal, um, and certainly there, there's a relationship between them two that I find is is almost it's almost motherly from Shirley. Or she she does look she does look out for Ben in a lot of ways. Good question. Um, I've always I've always found the role of the MC in cabaret. Um, very attractive. He's almost that anti-hero, that kind of uh, uh, very ab ab abstract and um, and different. And and I think there's so much that you can do with him. You can take so many risks, um, as we saw Alan Cumming doing that amazing Broadway version that came over here. It was sensational to watch. Um, I didn't see it live, but but having watched it, you know, later on, um, the risks that he took. And and I think I think that would be a lot of fun. Well, it is difficult to say. I've got different scenes in in different ways, I guess. Um, in terms of what gave me the most artistic value, I think I think the the scene with Steve and I, uh, Steve McFadden and I sat on the table when when I uh, he kind of found out that that I came back to fleece him. Um, I think that, that was probably the most uh, one of them times where you come off set and you go, "Wow, I just did something g really good." Uh, so I think that that would probably take the biscuit. I think. The hardest part of my acting career has probably been probably been the workload of of a show like EastEnders. Um, we. Uh, we work such vigorous hours and we, we commit, you know, entirely all the time. And if you're across a lot of storylines, it's a lot to keep up with. So, so I think it's, it's, it's a kind of tool that you don't necessarily get with, <clears throat> with a lot of other shows. And I think it's been the most difficult, but also the, the most rewarding, um, rewarding part of, of, you know, of being on the show. It was, it was daunting, definitely. I was, I was thrown into the deep end massively because, because uh, my first day was with all the Mitchells. It was, um, it was literally everybody. It was that, that kind of uh, that line, "Hello, Dad," and then for the, the the kind of the after effects of that was going to the Vic and seeing Shirley and, um, and Billy and and so it was, <clears throat> so it was daunting it was like it was like um there was no time to rest you had to come and hit the ground running if you like
Sure, absolutely. Um, although, I, you know, I'm not entirely sure that Ben is is the wedding type, but um, but I'm sure for the fans it would be lovely. Um, I think uh, Ben and Callum have their own kind of divisive relationship that that works for them, and and I think you know who knows maybe one day. No, it, in short, I think um, I think none of us really expected Balam to Balam. Now I call it Balam. Um, uh, ben and Callum to to create what they've managed to do, but I think that all lies in 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 the fact that Tony and I are so close as friends. Um, we have complete trust in each other when, when we work together, and and um, and you know we 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 both said from the, from the beginning of this journey of this story that we had to throw ourselves at it. We had to be completely free and and allow ourselves to completely live these characters as as if because we have to do it justice and. And, you know that's that's been um it's been a great journey so far oh god that's a good question i think ben would go driving himself mad in the house um i think he'd have to uh i think he'd probably uh, commit to being at the car lot again he'd probably just sit in there and throw a tennis ball at the wall or something at least he can um at least he can stand outside. Uh, or failing that, probably uh, probably E20 or something, somewhere where he can, you know, neck a, <laughs> neck a glass of wine if he needs to. Um, I definitely don't think him and Callum would be able to sit still at home. They'd be bored. I think I think there's nowhere that I'd particularly like to see him go. But the thing with Ben is that I, I, that I love about him is he's so unpredictable. Um, I enjoy, I enjoy the idea that Ben never knows where he's going to go next. Everything's an impulse decision. Everything's it's off the cuff. It's, and he also wears his heart on his sleeve at times. You know, in in, you know, maybe not um, in terms of releasing his external. Like we know, it took ages for for him to tell Callum he loved him, but but he uh, he looks after the people that he loves. So certainly just. Relaxing, maybe relaxing the way that him and Phil are, and and now that he's, he needs to get over the fact that his dad is his dad. Some things won't change, or maybe they will. Who knows? No, no, I think I think I'd do my head in. Um, I think uh, we constantly try and get one up on each other. Um, but I think I'd feel sorry for Ben. Definitely. Who knows? Right. Well, thanks very much for your questions, guys. And I hope you're all doing okay. Lots of love.